Hello everyone, my name is Tim. In this video, I'm gonna explain to you how you can overlay pictures in your video. I will explain to you why overlaying pictures in your videos could be helpful. Next, how to overlay pictures to your videos. Then I'm gonna explain to you how to edit pictures on your video. And in the end, I have a bonus tip for you how to start like a boss, so stay tuned. Before we get into the video, I'm gonna name three reasons why overlaying pictures in your videos could be very beneficial. First off, it adds context to the video. Second off, it looks professional in most cases. And lastly, it could be a really good communicator. Sometimes things are easier to explain through pictures. Okay, so how to overlay pictures in your videos. In this example, we go to v.io and click on upload your video. To go to Veed, you could also click in the link in the description. Okay, so once you're in the menu, you should be able to click on upload a file and click on the video you want to add. So next up, we're gonna import the picture you wanna add to the video. In this case, simply go to the left side of the menu and click on upload. After that, you can click on upload image. Select the image you wanna select and there it is. Okay, so once we imported the image in the video, we can edit it. First off, I'm gonna resize the image. We can start resizing the image by clicking on one of the sides and click and drag it to the format you like. I would like it a little bit small. Next up, we're gonna reposition the image. I would like to go to the location of where my finger is pointing right now. So let's drag it to the left side and there you go. If you like, you can even rotate the image by clicking on the rotating button or just go to adjust on the left side of the menu and click on rotate. In this case, we just wanna keep it zero. Okay, so next up, we're gonna look at the timeline options of the overlaying image. So as you can see in the video, I'm pointing to the direction of the picture, but the picture is coming in too late. I want it to appear quicker. So if you want your overlaying image to appear quicker, you can simply click on the image Q doc file in this case, click on the left side and drag it to the point where you wanna let it start. Let's see how that worked out. All right, that's better, that's better. If you're for some reason not happy with the image, no worries, you can replace the overlaying image with another image at the exact same dimensions you've had before. So what you can do is you can click on the image itself, click on replace image, and you can select the other picture you like. As you can see, I'm pretty much a dog person. And that's it. If you're happy with the video, you can export it through the export button, click on export video, and there you go. So next up, the incredible bonus tip we've all been waiting for. <laughs> It just sounds very fun to say, but on a serious note, it's about copyrighted pictures. You should be very careful of just downloading pictures on the internet because some of them could be copyrighted and you can even get claims or potential lawsuits. There are certain resources on the internet where you can pictures for free, where you know they're copyright free. You can use them for personal use, but also for commercial use. A couple of those websites are Unsplash, Pexels, and Pixabay. In this example for the dog pictures, I used Unsplash but you can use whatever you like. Long story short, just be very careful what pictures you're gonna use. If you can't find the websites, no worries, I link them in the description. And that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like on this video and consider subscribing if you wanna see more content like this. I would love to see in the comments what kind of pictures you used in your video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment as well. Feel free to watch our other videos for more helpful tips and tricks. For now, have a nice day and see you later.